thought we'd find answers on Lenigus, but we just ended up finding more questions. You can say that again. And now we have more problems to fix, too. Like figuring out how to reform Lenigus. That can wait for now. We've got more than enough on our plates to deal with as it is. Like figuring out who's really running the show on Rena. Yeah. Which is why we're going to the Renan homeworld. All the answers we've been looking for are on that planet. The person responsible for all this. The Red Woman and the Renis Alma. The answers have to be there. Are we prepared to finally find them? So, what do we do first when we get there? We know nothing about the Renan homeworld or what we might face once we arrive. We should get a feel for how things are on the ground before we take any serious steps. It's also entirely possible that the first thing we're going to face is an attack. If we come across a capital, we should- <coughs> What? just happened? Our course has been altered. The coordinates are pointing to a different destination. What's that? The ship's controls aren't accepting my commands. The engine is being shut down. That's bad, right? Quite bad. We've lost control of the ship. Is all of this the Red Women's doing? Are they trying to finish us off before we can land? <laughs> Everyone! Look there! Flower blooming out of Retta? But that flower looks like it's absorbing all of Dennis' energy. And it appears Lenigus is serving as a conduit for that energy to reach here. Could that have been its true purpose all along? If that's true, do you think the people back on Lenigus are all right? <sighs> we can only pray that they are. Damn it! Haven't they taken enough already? When is this going to end? A flower of oblivion. If 
with everything that's happening, we need to get back to Lenigus. Is the ship still offline? Unfortunately, yes. Even more so than when it lay dormant. Can you fix it? Starships are extremely complex machines. One wrong move while we're out here in space could very well cost us our lives. So what? We're just stuck inside here, floating around? For how long? <laughs> I don't believe this. We've made it all this way, and now we're stuck here? We're watching Dana die before our eyes, and we have no choice but to sit here and starve to death? Law, calm down! <sighs> You're not the only one who's worried here. R right Sorry. It's still too early to give up. There has to be a way to get out of this. Alfin. Ah! Now what? The starship, it... it's back online? No, this is different. Something is pulling our ship in towards it. We managed to get moving, but where are we? It looks like Lenigus in here. Do you think we might run into more Renans here? Or those Red Women? Perhaps. Someone brought us here. The question is, who? We haven't been ambushed, so that probably means they aren't hostile. Still, why would anyone want to bring us here? Uh, hey, Shion! If they wanted to attack us, they could have done so while we were back on the starship. We should see where this path takes us. Shion, just in the nick of time. Here, lend me a hand while I... No! What the... Oh, right. The thorns. <laughs> My bad. No, I'm the one who should apologize. I overreacted. Again, Law? Can't you even go a minute without putting your foot in your mouth? Seriously, it's fine. I'd rather that than people feeling like they're walking on eggshells around me. Besides, I'm the one who should be vigilant about not touching you guys, not the other way around. Actually, I've been meaning to ask. Not being able to touch people... Does it ever get lonely sometimes? I guess I never really thought about it in those terms. It was either accept it for what it was, or come undone. Before long, it was just part of my everyday reality. I think I even forgot there was another way to live. Which isn't to say I didn't feel alone. I did. Always. So numb to your reality, you couldn't even recognize it as loneliness? I don't know how you managed. It's fine. I know I'm not alone anymore. But... I can't even touch you. No way of lending you a shoulder when you're down. Even Alfin. I appreciate the concern. Until I get rid of these thorns... I guess I'll have to put up with it just a little longer, but not forever. Alfin promised me that. Maybe it'll be soon, maybe it won't be. But either way, the day will come. And I'll be ready when it does. Yeah, just hang in there. One day, we'll share a big warm hug. You'll see. I promise. <laughs> ah, ah, boo! Ah, what the? 
Are you out of your mind? This isn't the time for games, Rinwell. Oh, come on. How am I supposed to resist with you looking all jittery like that? It's called experiencing feelings appropriate to the situation. You ought to try it sometime. Yeah, but seeing you act all nervous, you're making me start to feel nervous too. Woo! Uh, oh, sorry. Staying alert is important, but too much caution can cloud your judgment. Try to strike a balance. Still can't get over what we saw happening outside the starship. Yeah, our planet's really not doing too hot right about now. I've only ever seen Rena from the surface of Dana, so I figured it was just another round planet like ours. Still though, I never would have imagined Rena actually looked like that. And what's the deal with that giant flower coming out of it? Beats me. I have absolutely no clue. It's so surreal. It Looks like a broken egg or something. Rena and Dana. We were taught that both worlds were spherical bodies that floated amongst the stars in the heavens. But to think that they lied to us not only about the Sovereign and the Crown Contest, but also the form of our own planet. Dohalim. Okay, who's the wise guy that summoned us here? Someone formidable enough to bring our starship along with us. They must be here somewhere. Let's find them. That beam of light joining Dana and Rena. It was the Renan side that it first came from, right? That's what it looked like. And then the Danan side responded. Perhaps it was some kind of directive from the Renan homeworld? To reawaken the Wedge and Lenigus? Which would mean that whoever's behind all this is on Rena, after all. But what are they after? Is it really worth going through all this trouble just to steal Dana's energy? Try to stay calm. With so many factors we don't understand, dwelling on it won't get us anywhere. <sighs> what is it? No, it's just... Zephyr once told me the same thing. So much for me making progress, huh? You made it this far, didn't you? You notice something, you change it. That's all anyone can do. But you can't stand still in the meantime. This place looks a lot like that room we saw back in the Forbidden Zone. Huh? What's that? Uh, it's one of those! A red woman in disguise. Or is this their true form? So it was a trap? It 
doesn't look like it can move. Tell me, are you the one who brought us here? That is correct. It is unusual for me to have unexpected guests these days. It can talk. What are you? Hevrecht 35. Hevrecht 35? Is that your name? Correct. What is this place? No, wait, before that, just what exactly are you? Are you somehow associated with the Red Women? Before I answer, I have a question for you. How did you all arrive in this sector? We did not come to this place by choice. Our ship was brought here against our will, by a group of Red Women who can shift into the same form as you. In that case, we can assume my brethren who serve the Great Spirit have deemed you all to be a threat most grave. What do you mean, serve? Are you saying there really is someone more powerful than the Red Women, pulling their strings? What did you do to us? I examined your bodies. You have not been harmed in any way. Identifiers detected. The Sovereign and Maiden are among you. However, you aren't under its control. I see why they viewed you as a danger now. Oh goody, more riddles. Do you think we can trust this thing? Like it or not, it may be our best chance at a ticket out of here. Let's at least hear it out. I shall now answer your questions. We are Helganquil. The Red Women you encountered previously are a form of disguise we employ from time to time, but not our true form. Helganquil? You are on Dake Faisal, a celestial base which drifted here by accident. The will of Rena's Great Spirit no longer reaches us here. Since my sudden separation from the Great Spirit's influence, I have used any and all means to extend my lifespan. As I have done so, I have also set out to monitor and research Rena and Dana from this position. A question. What is this Great Spirit of which you speak? Is it something that rules over your kind? Correct. The Great Astral Spirit is a large mass of astral energy that fills all of Rena, one with its own will, a voice we cannot refuse. A voice? Just like Dana. The voice of the Great Spirit speaks to our hearts directly, and we have served it without question throughout the ages. Does that mean it was controlling your minds? Wait a second. Could this great spirit be the true sovereign of Rena? The true ruler of Rena? It could be the same thing that's controlling Volron. Wait, back up. You're telling us this great spirit of yours is the one that ordered you things to harvest the astral energy from Dana? I'm not sure I believe that. Why not? We've already made contact with the will of Dana back in the Wedge, and in the Forbidden Zone on Lenegas. If Dana has a will of its own, I don't see why Rena wouldn't. Maybe not, but think about what you're saying. If Dana has a will like Rena, then that would mean that we've been controlled by the voice of Dana this whole time, just like these things. Dana's will hasn't been forcing us to do anything. Yeah, but... Let's assume that what Hevrek 35 claims is true, and that we are indeed cut off from both planets. Even if we had previously been under the control of Dana's will, we would have noticed now that we are disconnected. Your fear is not based in logic. The voice of Dana is much smaller and quieter compared to that of Rena's great spirit. Rena's astral energy is amassed at its center, whereas Dana's is shared among all its constituents. So thinly is that energy spread that it cannot coalesce and formulate a will. 
Our findings here indicate as much. Which explains why we felt its will where we did. The Wedge and Lenegus are where so much of that energy had been accumulated. The Great Spirit's desire is to consume all astral energy. And the pursuit of that desire is why you see Rena in its current state. As a result, it has turned its attention toward Dana. Is that why the Crown Contest is necessary? So that the Great Spirit can feed off of Dana? Indeed. And it was to that end that we Helganquil devised the Crown Contest. Had the initial spirit channeling from 300 years ago succeeded, all of Dana's astral energy would have been seized. <sighs> but the ceremony failed. Lenegus was severely damaged. And you lost both the Sovereign and the Renesalma. Correct. A change in plan was required to ensure the spirit channeling success. However, recreating the Renes Alma required a vast amount of energy. That is why we turn to Dana. So that was the real purpose behind the Crown Contest. An efficient means to harvest the necessary energy from Dana. This is all happening because of me. Nevertheless, you still haven't answered one of Alfin's original questions. Just why have you brought us here to your base, Hevrecht 35? First, it was to confirm the identities of you, my unexpected visitors. Second, it was to ascertain whether you would be likely to accept my request. A request? But what could someone like you want us to... I wish for you all to slay the Great Spirit. I'm sorry, did you just ask us to kill your master? I did. It is in your best interest that you do so, I might add. What makes you say that? Lenegus has entered the final stage of the spirit channeling plan. As we speak, Dana's energy is being harvested en masse and transmitted to Rena. If nothing is done about the Great Spirit, it will not be long before all is lost. You're saying the destruction we saw earlier is just the beginning? That... We won't let that happen. Why do you want us to kill the Great Spirit so badly? Is it to save our world? To free you, Helganquil, from under its control? Why? No. My primary concern is validating our findings and analysis which have taken many years to realize. As such, it is my desire to see how your actions impact and change these systems. However, I will not deny that vengeance also plays a part. Vengeance? For what? In spite of our long service to the Great Spirit, our species is on the brink of extinction. You mean... you're dying? At this stage, it would be wise for you to talk with the others. Ask them what you need to know. Once you have your answer, return to me. If you agree to help, I shall fix your ship. Others? Just how many of you are there? I am the only Helganquil who inhabits Dake Faisal. Hey! Hey! It's no use. I think it's done talking to us. Let's take a look around. <laughs> 